Have you ever found yourself glued to a scene, feeling the need to pause and savor every detail? Many viewers have experienced this moment in various films. Some scenes have become notorious for making audiences hit that pause button, whether due to shocking twists, stunning visuals, or intricate details hidden within the frame. Consider the unforgettable moment in The Sixth Sense, when the truth about the boy's condition is revealed. This twist left many reeling and wanting to dissect every clue leading up to it. Another example is from Inception, where the dream layers and visual effects invite repeated viewings and pauses to catch every nuance. The famous shot of the rotating hallway fight not only astounds with its choreography, but also raises questions about reality itself. Additionally, scenes in Pulp Fiction, like the dance between Mia and Vincent, are often paused to appreciate the blend of music and movement, showcasing Tarantino's unique style. These moments not only captivate, but also encourage deeper engagement with the story, making them memorable parts of cinema history. As we explore these iconic pause scenes, prepare to relive the excitement and discover why they have left such a lasting impact on audiences everywhere. Undoubtedly, the infamous leg-crossing scene from Basic Instinct has cemented its place as one of the most paused and iconic moments in Hollywood history. The scene, featuring Sharon Stone's captivating performance as the enigmatic Catherine Trammell, has become a cultural touchstone, sparking countless references and parodies over the years. The sheer magnetism and mystery surrounding Trammell's character, combined with the provocative nature of the interrogation sequence, have made this moment a true cinematic landmark. Viewers have been enthralled, mesmerized, and captivated by the raw intensity and allure of this unforgettable scene, pausing and replaying it countless times to savor its every nuance and subtlety. The scene's enduring legacy is a testament to its power to captivate and intrigue audiences, solidifying its status as one of the most paused and celebrated moments in the annals of Hollywood cinema. Fans of Star Wars often recall one of the most amusing moments from Episode 4, A New Hope where a stormtrooper accidentally bumps his head on a doorframe aboard the Death Star. This humorous flub adds an unexpected layer of charm to an otherwise intense scene. The blunder occurred during a pivotal moment when the troopers are rushing to capture the droids. In the background, this clumsy stormtrooper's head banging incident has become a beloved piece of trivia among fans. They often pause the film at this exact moment, relishing the humor amidst the action-packed narrative. George Lucas, the film's creator, decided to leave this mistake in the final cut, highlighting the spontaneity of filmmaking. The incident demonstrates that even in a galaxy far, far away, unexpected moments can bring joy. This light-hearted mishap continues to spark conversations and laughter, marking its place in cinematic history as a unique and memorable scene that fans cherish. Undoubtedly, the topless scene featuring Jamie Lee Curtis in the 1983 comedy film Trading Places has become one of the most paused and rewatched moments in Hollywood history. This departure from her usual roles as the screen queen in horror films captivated audiences and added a new dimension to Curtis's on-screen persona. The scene, which showcases her natural beauty and confidence, has become a cultural touchstone, with fans revisiting it time and again to appreciate the actress's performance and the film's bold artistic choices. The moment not only shocked and delighted viewers, but also cemented Curtis's status as a versatile and talented actress, capable of transcending the boundaries of her previous typecasting. This iconic scene has endured as a testament to the power of cinema to challenge societal norms and push the boundaries of what is considered acceptable on the silver screen. In a scene from Fight Club, Brad Pitt makes a brief but striking appearance in a hospital setting that captures the attention of many viewers. This moment is so subtle that it often goes unnoticed on the first watch, yet it has become a favorite for fans to pause and dissect. The film itself is known for its complex themes of identity, consumerism, and societal norms, making every detail significant. In this particular scene, Pitt's character, Tyler Durden, appears almost subliminally, challenging the audience to question his role and the nature of reality within the film. Viewers often rewind to catch this fleeting moment, examining the context and implications of his presence. The layers of meaning behind this scene encourage discussions about how easily one can overlook critical elements in narrative storytelling. The inclusion of such details adds depth to the film, inviting fans to engage with it on multiple levels, and reinforcing the notion that everything in Fight Club is intentionally crafted to provoke thought and analysis. The cameo of Pac-Man and Tron excited audiences in 1982, 
showcasing the rapid rise of video games and popular culture. This brief appearance takes place in a vibrant, digital landscape, enhancing the film's groundbreaking visuals. The moment captures the essence of the era, where arcade gaming was becoming a phenomenon, connecting deeply with viewers. The scene features Pac-Man as a pixelated character, cleverly integrated into the film's unique universe. Audiences found joy in spotting this iconic character, making it one of the most paused moments in cinema history. As viewers paused to appreciate the nostalgic nod, it also highlighted the crossover between traditional film and emerging digital entertainment. Tron pushed the boundaries of visual storytelling, and Pac-Man's cameo served as a playful reminder of the growing influence of video games. This moment remains etched in the minds of fans, illustrating how a simple scene can resonate within a larger cultural shift towards technology and gaming. Captivating audiences with its daring and intense performance, Nicole Kidman's provocative scene in Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut has become a highly paused moment in cinematic history. The scene, set against the backdrop of Kubrick's masterful exploration of desire, power, and the human psyche, features Kidman's character engaging in a sensual and emotionally charged encounter. The raw vulnerability and emotional depth she brings to the role have resonated with viewers, leading them to repeatedly pause and scrutinize the nuances of her performance. Kubrick's meticulous direction and the film's atmospheric visuals further heighten the scene's impact, creating a mesmerizing and unforgettable cinematic experience that has cemented its place as one of the most paused movie moments in Hollywood's history. Retrospectively, Tom Cruise's revealing scene in All the Right Moves has gained significant attention as his fame grew over the years. Once an overlooked moment, this particular scene has now become a frequently paused and scrutinized part of the film. As Cruise's star power and popularity skyrocketed, this once minor sequence has been elevated to the status of a cinematic highlight, with viewers repeatedly revisiting and analyzing the scene. The increased focus on this moment reflects the enduring fascination with Cruz's early career and the evolution of his on-screen persona. What was once a relatively inconspicuous part of the film has now become a frequently paused and discussed scene, underscoring the lasting impact of Cruz's performance and the way in which his subsequent fame has shaped the perception and appreciation of this particular moment and all the right moves. Marilyn Monroe's iconic dress scene over a subway grate in the Seven Year Itches. The timeless pause moment admired for its playful and sensual portrayal. The scene, which features Monroe's white halter dress billowing up as she stands on a subway grate, has become one of the most recognizable and frequently paused moments in Hollywood history. The playful and flirtatious nature of Monroe's performance, combined with the sensual way the dress clings to her figure, has made this scene a beloved classic that continues to captivate audiences to this day. The scene's enduring popularity is a testament to Monroe's enduring star power and the timeless appeal of her on-screen persona. From its initial release to the present day, this iconic moment has remained a beloved and frequently paused highlight of the seven-year itch and a defining image of Marilyn Monroe's legendary career. Phoebe Cates emerging from the pool in Fast Times at Ridgemont High is a scene that has become etched in cinematic history, representing the essence of teenage life in the 1980s. This moment captures a blend of innocence, desire, and the carefree nature associated with youth. The image of Kate's, dripping wet and breathtakingly beautiful, is more than just a visual spectacle. It symbolizes the awakening of sexual curiosity that many teenagers experience. The film, known for its candid portrayal of high school life, dives deep into the trials and tribulations faced by its characters, making this specific scene resonate with audiences. It became a cultural touchstone, not just for its aesthetic value but for its commentary on teenage awakening and the social dynamics of the time. Viewers often pause this moment, feeling nostalgia for their own youthful experiences, while also recognizing the film's role in shaping perceptions of teenage life and romance. The scene endures as a touchstone in discussions about iconic cinematic moments, highlighting the blend of humor, longing, and the bittersweet nature of growing up that defines fast-paced adolescent experiences. In the realm of action cinema, few moments have left a mark as profound as the iconic bullet time scene from The Matrix. This groundbreaking sequence features the protagonist, Neo, in a stunning display of agility as he dodges bullets that fly toward him in slow motion. The visual effects used in this moment were revolutionary for their time, altering the landscape of filmmaking and influencing countless movies that followed. 
The use of bullet time allowed filmmakers to manipulate time and space in ways that had never been seen before, creating a mesmerizing spectacle that captivated audiences. Because of the stunning visual effects and innovative techniques, this scene became a major talking point among film enthusiasts and casual viewers alike. Many viewers paused the movie at this exact moment to appreciate the intricacies of the scene. This technique showed how modern technology could be harnessed to create unforgettable cinematic experiences that resonate with viewers. The bullet dodging scene encapsulates not only an intense action sequence, but also a pivotal character moment, symbolizing Neo's awakening and transformation. As a result, this pause-worthy scene has become a staple in discussions about memorable movie moments and a reference point in film studies. The Matrix established new standards for action, visual storytelling, and film editing, inspiring filmmakers and cinematographers to explore new creative avenues. The film's impact on popular culture, along with its remarkable use of special effects, ensures that the bullet time scene will remain one of the most paused moments in the history of Hollywood, inviting endless appreciation from audiences for years to come. Undoubtedly, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho stands as a seminal work in the history of cinema, forever altering the landscape of horror films. At the heart of this cinematic masterpiece lies the iconic shower scene, a sequence that has captivated and terrified audiences for generations. The sheer intensity and masterful execution of this scene have made it a frequent subject of pause and scrutiny as viewers seek to unravel the intricate web of suspense and cinematic brilliance woven by Hitchcock's hand. The scene's rapid-fire editing, accompanied by Bernard Herrmann's haunting score, creates a sense of unbearable tension and dread, leaving an indelible mark on the viewer's psyche. The quick cuts between the knife, the water, and the victim's face heighten the sense of vulnerability and the relentless nature of the attack, while the use of shadows and silhouettes adds an extra layer of mystery and foreboding. Hitchcock's meticulous attention to detail, from the positioning of the camera to the subtle nuances of the actor's performances, elevates the scene to a level of cinematic perfection that has become the benchmark for all subsequent horror films. The enduring legacy of the psycho shower scene lies in its ability to transcend the boundaries of the genre, becoming a cultural touchstone that has inspired countless imitations, homages, and critical analyses. Its impact on the art of filmmaking is undeniable, as it has not only redefined the conventions of the horror genre, but also pushed the boundaries of what is possible in the medium of cinema. To this day, the scene remains a testament to Hitchcock's mastery of suspense and his unwavering commitment to creating a cinematic experience that is both thrilling and profoundly unsettling. The mystery of the glowing briefcase in Pulp Fiction continues to fascinate, making it a frequently paused scene as fans speculate about its contents, which remain unconfirmed by Quentin Tarantino. The briefcase, with its enigmatic glow and the combination lock that must be entered to open it, has become one of the most iconic and discussed elements of the film. Viewers have proposed numerous theories about what the briefcase might contain, ranging from the soul of Marcellus Wallace to the Holy Grail, but Tarantino has steadfastly refused to reveal the true nature of its contents. This ambiguity has only served to heighten the scene's allure, as fans continue to pause and rewind, searching for clues and trying to unravel the mystery. The scene's enduring popularity, and the ongoing speculations surrounding the briefcase's contents have cemented its status as one of the most paused and discussed moments in the history of Hollywood cinema. The appearance of the ghostly twins in The Shining creates an unsettling moment that leaves a lasting impression on viewers. This scene captures the essence of horror, drawing attention to the chilling atmosphere of the Overlook Hotel. Audiences often pause this moment to fully absorb the eerie details, from the twins' haunting expressions to their synchronized stance. The visual impact is amplified by the film's distinctive color palette and unsettling score, which together heighten the tension. The twins, dressed in matching blue dresses, are a stark contrast to the sinister backdrop of the hotel, symbolizing innocence intertwined with the malevolent history of the place. Their presence evokes a sense of dread, as they appear to beckon the protagonist, Jack Torrance, into darkness. This duality of innocence and horror is what makes the scene so compelling and memorable. Fans revisit this moment not just for scares, but to analyze the deeper themes of childhood trauma and lost innocence that permeate the film. Moreover, the scene invites discussions about psychological horror versus supernatural elements, showcasing Stanley Kubrick's masterful direction. By meticulously crafting this moment, Kubrick ensures the ghostly twins remain etched in cinematic history.
This blend of visuals and sound continues to resonate, making it a cornerstone of horror film analysis and a frequent topic of conversation among enthusiasts. Undoubtedly, the I'm Flying scene from the epic film Titanic has become one of the most iconic and frequently paused moments in cinematic history. As Jack and Rose stand together at the bow of the ill-fated ship, arms outstretched, the sheer joy and exhilaration on their faces captivates audiences. This romantic and visually stunning sequence encapsulates the film's themes of love, adventure, and the bittersweet tragedy that unfolds. Viewers often pause to savor the emotional intensity of the moment, marveling at the chemistry between the lead actors and the breathtaking cinematography that transports them to the open sea. The scene's enduring popularity is a testament to its ability to evoke a profound sense of wonder, freedom, and the fleeting nature of life itself. Truly, the I'm Flying moment has become a cinematic touchstone, a timeless representation of the human spirit's capacity for love and resilience in the face of overwhelming adversity. Undoubtedly, the T-Rex attack scene in Jurassic Park is a cinematic masterpiece that has captivated audiences for decades. The seamless integration of cutting-edge CGI and practical effects creates a breathtakingly realistic depiction of the iconic dinosaur, leaving viewers in awe. From the moment the T-Rex emerges from the shadows, its sheer size and power command the screen, eliciting a sense of wonder and terror. The attention to detail in the creature's movements, the rumbling of its thunderous roar, and the palpable tension as the characters attempt to evade its pursuit all contribute to the scene's enduring popularity. It is no wonder that this sequence is frequently paused by viewers, who revel in the opportunity to closely examine the technical mastery and artistry that brought this prehistoric predator to life. The T-Rex attack in Jurassic Park stands as a testament to the boundless creativity and innovation of the filmmakers, solidifying its place as one of the most iconic and frequently paused movie scenes in Hollywood history. The bike flight across the moon in E.T., the extraterrestrial stands as an unforgettable moment in cinematic history. This scene captures a group of children soaring through the night sky with the silhouette of their bikes framed against the luminous full moon. The image evokes a sense of wonder and freedom representing childhood imagination and adventure. Many viewers pause this iconic shot to admire its beauty and significance. The visual artistry created by director Steven Spielberg and cinematographer Alan Daviau is remarkable, blending special effects with practical stunts to create a moment that feels both magical and real. The scene highlights the bond between Elliot and E.T., showcasing themes of friendship and loyalty. It remains a favorite among fans who appreciate the film's emotional depth and nostalgic charm. As the music swells, the imagery resonates deeply, making it a moment that invites reflection and joy. The lasting impact of this scene continues to inspire filmmakers and audiences alike. The floating feather in Forrest Gump serves as a powerful symbol of destiny and chance, inviting viewers to pause and reflect on the film's deeper meanings. At the beginning, the feather dances gracefully in the air, representing the randomness of life and the unpredictable paths that individuals take. It gently lands at Forrest's feet, suggesting that although life may be guided by fate, it is also shaped by choice. As the story unfolds, viewers are taken through key moments in history alongside Forrest, witnessing how his simple nature influences those around him. The feather reappears at the end of the film, framing Forrest's journey and reinforcing the idea that life's events can feel both random and preordained. It prompts audiences to consider their own experiences with luck, love, and loss, emphasizing the importance of being present in each moment. This visual motif captures the essence of the film encouraging profound contemplation about the forces that shape our lives. The Sixth Sense is a psychological thriller film that has captivated audiences for decades. At the heart of its enduring popularity is the iconic I See Dead People reveal, a moment that has become one of the most paused and discussed scenes in cinematic history. As Haley Joel Osment's character, Cole Sear, utters those chilling words, viewers are left reeling, forced to reevaluate everything they've witnessed up to that point. The implications of Cole's secret are profound, shedding new light on the film's narrative and challenging our understanding of the supernatural. This pivotal moment is a testament to the power of storytelling, where a single line of dialogue can completely transform our perception of the characters and the world they inhabit. It is a scene that demands repeated viewings, as viewers strive to unpack its deeper meanings and the emotional impact it leaves behind. The I See Dead People reveal in the sixth sense has become a cultural touchstone, 
a moment that has etched itself into the collective consciousness of moviegoers, cementing its place as one of the most paused and analyzed scenes in the history of Hollywood. The horsehead scene in The Godfather is one of the most shocking moments in cinema history. This gruesome moment occurs when a character wakes up to find a severed horse's head in his bed, a brutal act meant to send a message from the mob. This scene exemplifies the film's raw and unflinching portrayal of mob life, showcasing not only the power dynamics within organized crime, but also the lengths to which characters will go to assert dominance and control. Many viewers pause this scene both for its shocking imagery and for its significant narrative impact. It serves as a turning point, illustrating the violent reality of the character's world and foreshadowing the moral complexities that will unfold throughout the story. The visceral reaction this scene evokes has made it memorable, ensuring that it remains a topic of discussion long after the credits roll, further cementing the Godfather's status as a cinematic masterpiece. Viewers find themselves grappling with the implications of such violence, making it a powerful moment in film history. The transition from black and white to color as Dorothy enters Oz in The Wizard of Oz is a magical moment. Frequently pause to appreciate this milestone in film history. This iconic scene marks a pivotal point in the movie, as the audience is transported from the drab, monochrome world of Kansas to the vibrant, technicolor realm of Oz. The sudden burst of color is a visual feast, captivating viewers and leaving a lasting impression. Directors and cinematographers have long recognized the power of this moment, using it to showcase the technological advancements of the time and to heighten the sense of wonder and enchantment. Even today, audiences continue to pause and savor this cinematic masterpiece, marveling at the seamless integration of practical effects and the sheer artistry of the filmmaking. It is a testament to the enduring appeal of The Wizard of Oz and the timeless magic of cinema. Undoubtedly, the night vision goggles seen in The Silence of the Lambs is one of the most chilling and suspenseful moments in cinematic history. As Clarice Starling navigates the dark basement, the audience is gripped by the intensity of the situation, with the eerie green glow of the night vision goggles adding to the sense of unease and danger. Fans often pause the scene, scrutinizing every detail, from the subtle movements of the antagonist, Buffalo Bill, to the expressions on Clarice's face as she confronts her formidable foe. The scene's power lies in its ability to create a palpable atmosphere of dread and uncertainty, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats until the very end. It is a testament to the filmmaker's skill in crafting a truly unforgettable and iconic moment that has become ingrained in the collective consciousness of moviegoers worldwide. Undoubtedly, the spider walk scene in The Exorcist is one of the most chilling and unforgettable moments in cinematic history. This disturbing sequence, where the possessed Reagan crawls down the stairs in an unnatural spider-like manner, has become a hallmark of the film's enduring legacy. The scene's impact is amplified by the exceptional special effects used to bring this horrifying vision to life. Audiences have been captivated by the sheer technical prowess on display, pausing the film to examine the intricate details and mechanics that make this moment so unsettling. The spider walk scene's ability to elicit a visceral reaction from viewers, whether it's sheer terror or morbid fascination, is a testament to the power of cinema to push the boundaries of what is possible on the screen. Even decades after its release, this iconic sequence continues to captivate and haunt audiences, solidifying its place as one of the most paused and discussed movie scenes in the annals of Hollywood history. The enigmatic monolith in 21, a space odyssey has long captivated and puzzled viewers, making it one of the most frequently paused and analyzed scenes in cinematic history. This iconic symbol, with its sleek, minimalist design and mysterious origins, has become a central focus of discussion and interpretation among fans and scholars alike. Its appearance at key moments throughout the film, from the dawn of human evolution to the culmination of the space odyssey, has led to endless speculation about its deeper meaning and significance. Is it a representation of technological advancement, a harbinger of cosmic forces, or a manifestation of the divine? The monolith's enigmatic nature has sparked countless debates with viewers pausing the film to scrutinize its every detail, seeking to unravel the profound symbolism and philosophical implications woven into this captivating cinematic masterpiece.